Good morning, children. What day is it today? It's Wednesday, right? Then you must be asking, why is Auntie Charmaine here? It's not Sunday. It's not Sunday school. Now, why am I here? I'm here to do a morning devotion with you so that even though we don't meet in church, still we can learn about God's Word. Now, what is God's Word? Can somebody tell me the answer? Yes, it's the Bible. Now, before we start, right, we must always, what must we do? We must always pray and ask God for His help so that we can really understand God's Word. Alright, so let us pray together first. Now, when we pray, who are we talking to? Yes, we are talking to God. So when we pray, we must really quieten our hearts and focus. Okay, so hands together, eyes closed. Now listen as Auntie Charmaine prays. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you because you are very good. Because even though we cannot come together in church, yet Father, we are still able to gather here today to listen and to learn from your word. We thank you for all this goodness. And we want to thank you for this wonderful morning that we can be at home to study your word. We thank you for all good things in life. We thank you for preserving and keeping everyone. And we thank you especially for your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has come to die and to live and to save us from our sins. We pray, Father, even as we start our morning devotion today, that you will be with all of us to help us to understand your word and help us to be better children and to be better Christians for you. Please be with us. And for those who are not able to listen to this, we pray, Father, that you will continue to watch over them and help them to be very close to you. Be with everyone who is sick in this time, that you may be merciful to heal them, and especially, Father, that they may come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for your mercies. We pray for your grace upon everyone in this world. Help us, O oh Father, and bless us. Forgive us of all our sins. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Right, so before Teacher Charmaine teaches you today, now let us sing a song together. I'm quite sure all of you know this song. Read your Bible, pray every day. Okay, let's sing together. One, two, three. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. What happens if you don't read your Bible? Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, 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 and you'll shrink. Shrink, shrink, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. Oh no! Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. 
Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Well done. Now. This Wednesday and all the Wednesdays to come, now Auntie Shermay will be teaching you about the parables. Now what are parables? Parables are not just stories for fun, okay? Now what are parables? Parables are stories that tell us a deeper meaning about God's kingdom. And today, Auntie Shermay will start with this parable. Now, this parable is called the parable of the sower. And this is found in the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 21. Now, do you know that when Jesus Christ was on this earth, now many people followed Jesus. Why? Because Jesus did many miracles and everyone wanted to follow such a miracle person that does many miracles. But Jesus wanted to teach them a very important thing. Now Jesus wanted to teach them this. Now, many of you could be hearing what I say, but how many of you are really understanding in the heart what is what am I really teaching? Now, Jesus wanted to teach them the importance of hearing and understanding his word with the right heart. And so, Jesus started to tell them this story. Now, Jesus said that there was a sower. Now, what is a sower? It's like a farmer that throws many of his seed onto the ground so that the seed may grow. And he says that one day there was this sower who started to cast, to throw all his seed. And then there was some seed that fell on the wayside, at the side of the way. And he said that these seeds, when they fell on this ground, now what happened? Now what is this? Yes, a little bird. Now, Jesus said when, when this seed fell on the wayside, the birds of the air started to fly down. And what do you think they will do? Laugh at the seed? Ha ha ha! No, of course not. What they will do? Look at what is this little bird doing? Yes! It took out the little seed and what did it do? It started to eat them. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Why? Because it wanted to finish up all this seed. And so these little birds came and finish and eat up all this seed that fell on the wayside. Now what happened to the rest of the seeds? Now Jesus continued to tell this thing, that some of these seeds fell on this place called the stony place or fell on a rocky place. Now can you look at this seed over here? Did it grow? Yes it did, but Look at where it's growing on all these places with lots of rocks. And so it did not have a very strong root, but it started to grow up. But Jesus told us this, when the sun came up and it was very hot, the plant started to die. Why? Because there was not enough water for them to grow. Now, this is the second kind of seed. Now what happened to the rest of the seed? Now they, some of them fell onto a ground where there were thorns. Now what happened? As the plant, as the seed started to grow, now look at this. What is this? Can you see these two little things with lots of thorns? Yes. As these seeds started to grow, now the thorns started to grow alongside it. And Jesus told us, now this thorn started to choke the plant. 
it started to overcrowd the plant, that the plant could no longer grow up and up, and it could no longer bear fruit. Now, there was one last ground where the seeds fell. And what was this? Jesus said that this seed fell on the good ground. And what happened? Now, this seed on the good ground, they started to grow and grow and grow and grow. And finally, it bare fruit. Some of the seed bare 30 more times, some 60 more times, and some 100 times of fruit. And this seed, where did it land? It landed on the good ground. Now, the disciples started to ask Jesus, Jesus, Master, what is the meaning of this story? Now, Jesus started to explain to them. Now, Remember when the sower cast his seed? Now the seed is the word of God. And so Jesus explained this. Now the seed that fell on the wayside is like the word of God that fell onto some hearts of the people. And what happened? Now Satan, like the bird over here, will come and Remove, take away the word of God in the hearts of these people. Why did he remove them? It's to prevent them, to stop them from believing in God's word and to stop them from being saved. Now, what about the seed that fell on the stony ground? Now, these people, when they first hear the word of God, they would hear it with joy. Wow, this is interesting. This is something good for me. But as these seeds that weeded away, that died away when the sun was hot, these people, after having joy for a small period of time, now when things started to become difficult, when people started to persecute them to be Christians, they started to say, no, being a Christian is so hard. So many rules to follow. People start to hate me. I don't want to be a Christian anymore. I don't want to believe in God's word anymore. And so these people started to leave the faith. Now what about the seeds that fell among the thorns? Now who are these kind of people? Now these are the people that hear the word of God and they started to follow for a while. But just like this plant over here, as this seed over here, as it started to grow, now, it's, now these people will start to be choked. By what? By the worries about this life. They started to think, oh no, I need more money. I need more money to live. I cannot start to put all my life into following God. I need to start to enjoy my life. I need to go out. I need to play. And these people, as they start to chase after all these worldly things, they start to forget God and they never grow and they stop being a light. Now, what about this final seed that fell on the good ground? Yes. Now, there's only one group of people that will really understand the word of God. And these people are those who hear the word of God, not just in the ear, but they hear the word of God right in their hearts. And they will keep the word of God. They will treasure the word of God. They will obey the word of God. And as they obey and they hear the word of God, they will grow and grow and they will bear fruit. Now they will start to be very shining lights for Jesus. That when people look at their lives, they will be seeing Christ. And these are the ones that really heard and understood the word of God. 
Now, when Jesus told this parable of the sower, he really wanted his disciples to understand this thing. How we hear the word of God, how we read the word of God, how we understand the word of God is really important. Now, many people followed Jesus. Many people would also, like you, attend Sunday school, would also go to church to hear the word of God. But how many of them really heard the word of God with a good heart and with understanding? Jesus tells us there's only one group. And this group of people are those who hear, who understand in the heart and in the mind, and will do the word of God. That is, they will obey the word of God, and then they will be growing and growing and growing every day that they'll become a strong shining light for Jesus. Now children, maybe every day your mama and papa are helping you to read the Bible. But how do you listen? Hmm, I want this to be over soon. Why is Baba Mama talking so much? Or how about in Sunday school? I want to go out to play. Why this teacher so talk so long? Now that is not the good way to, to listen to the Word of God. Now every time when we listen to the Word of God, we must really prepare our hearts, pray for God's help to help us to understand and always listen to the word of God with a ready heart to what? To obey God's word. And that is how we can really understand the word of God in a good and in a right way. Now remember the song that Auntie Shermaine sang with you earlier? Read your Bible, pray every day now when i say read the bible how do we read just take out your bible and do this mm, i'm done finish no when we read the bible make sure today you must learn this read it with the right heart with the right understanding always ready to obey god's word okay so let us end this morning devotion by singing again Read your Bible, pray every day. Ready? You can stand up now for this last song. Okay? One, two, three. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. What happens if you don't read or you don't read with a right heart to obey? Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you shrink, shrink, shrink. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray. And you shrink, shrink, shrink. Let's go. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, 
grow. Okay, so now as we end today's devotion, let us pray to ask God for His help that we may always be ready to listen to His word with a good heart to want to obey and to do His word. All right, so hands together right now, eyes closed, listen to Auntie Charmaine as we pray. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this morning that we can come to sing for you and to listen and to learn from your word. We thank you for this parable that Jesus has told to his disciples to teach us that when we listen and when we hear the word of God, we must do it with the right heart so that we may understand the word of God and to obey the word of God. Help us never to forget this so that we may grow and grow and grow in our Christian life, that we may be good witnesses for Jesus, that we may shine for him, that when others look at us, they see Christ, and that they may also come to know Jesus, our Savior, and be saved from their sins unto eternal life. Continue to be with all of us, our Father in heaven, Keep us during this time, keep us very close to you, so that when we meet again, we may continue to praise thy name, and that we may continue to serve you. So help us, O Lord, this day to do our best for your name, for your glory alone. Protect everyone and be merciful and gracious upon us all. Forgive us, O Lord, of our sins and help us, O Lord, to listen and to read and to learn from your word with a right and better heart each day. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Okay, children, I'll see you next week. Bye!